Greetings, today I am doing a little detailing challenge video and I am going to be looking at one of the more perhaps neglected areas of the car which is the wheels, in particular the rear and the drums, the brick calipers and the wheel arches. And the challenge part is that I'm only going to be using products that I have received in various Because Race Car boxes. All right then, this is the stack that we are going to be playing with. So in order, then we're going to start with some iron off fallout remover, a decontamination stage. Obviously in the wheel arches and the brake calibers around the wheels, that's going to be the highest concentration area of iron deposits. So we're going to use that. Then we'll move on to our citrus pre-wash, which we are going to dilute into our provided spray bottle. So that will go towards loosening more grime. Then we'll move on to a contact wash. So we're going to use incinerate wheel cleaner from Infinity Wax. And we're going to spray that on and we are probably going to agitate as well with that just because we're quite likely to have quite a lot of heavily ground in crud and dirt like i said at the start it's a bit of a neglected area so then once we do that and rinse that off then we'll move on to some black sheep detailing shampoo which will just clear off any remaining residues and leave us nice and clean then we'll be ready for a little bit of protection and finishing so i've got a couple of different options here i've got a ceramic coating from auto glands it's the p1 light ceramic coating and then the sp1 ceramic top coat to go along with that that's the hard sacrificial layer um, i also then have some simple wax armor synthetic wax um, so what i'm thinking is i'm thinking of using the ceramic coating on the calipers and then the wax on the wheels this is like amazingly super hydrophobic wax um, it's very highly reviewed so yes that'll be cool and then the very final thing that we have is some auto perfectionist glosset tire and trim dressing just to make our tires which are getting a little bit tired at this point to be fair looking a little bit nicer so the first thing then is we have to get the wheels off so we're going to loosen all of our nuts we're going to use a breaker bar with our 19 mil nylon lined socket so then we'll jack the car up and i've got this cool jack pad from powerflex it specifically has a sort of cutaway shape so that it fits perfectly on the rs which is really awesome plus it's polyurethane being powerflex so unlike cheap rubber ones it won't break apart the first time you use it then once we're jacked up we'll take the nuts all the way off and then the wheels will come off So you can really see just how nasty and dirty, I mean, <laughs> look at that. That is mad. I have a barrel brush, which is very, very good. Um, but with having so many spokes and such little space to get it in it, I can only sort of go like as a, a bit either side. So I can never really get the whole thing, um, which is kind of annoying. And of course, then it's also difficult to get the rear of the spokes themselves. Um, so yeah, gonna get that cleaned up and then bounce back over here you can see again because of the wheel design uh, it is very difficult to get in at the calipers so you can, you can get a bit here which is okay but then the obvious detail is pretty much impossible to do unless you take the wheels off and it's the exact same thing it's very difficult to get in and around this really grimy wheel arch um, without taking the wheels off as well and um, so because we don't do that very often that's what today is all about seeing how good we can do and also the challenge of seeing how good we can do with only using a selection of products from Because Race Car Box. So, without further ado, let's start off with our first decontamination stage. All right then, iron off fallout remover from Power Maxed Valeting. So we just apply pretty liberally. Alright, I'd say that's a pretty good layer. So let me just let that do its thing. I'll just a bit here. Alright, let that do its thing then. It will start going purple. It's already starting to go purple, evidently. So move on and do it on the other wheel. Alright, that isn't too bad. So then we need to move on to our calipers. You can see in there, just it, that's basically never been cleaned in there. So then we'll just hit uh, all the other surfaces that we can until this runs out. I 
a review of this, it would, be, it would be nicer if it was a wider spray that would allow us to get maybe better, better coverage. Like we've only sort of hit certain areas of that. We did get our calipers though, really good. Look at that amount of purple coming out of there. That's amazing. Um, but yeah, the rest of the arches, not so much. All right, so that seems to be working really, really well. An obvious limitation is that we're only gonna be able to get these two wheels and wheel arches and calipers done. So the other side, I'm gonna have to go and use some stock of other iron fallout remover that I have. Um, which is a wee bit of a negative but I mean at the end of the day this was a challenge and we only using a very very small sample um, but the actual product itself looks very good um, so yeah I think it's been on the wheels long enough now gonna rinse it off All right, now we can move on to stage two, which is our citrus pre-wash from Infinity Wax. Now this is concentrated, like I said before. So what I've done is I have put half of our sample into our spray bottle and then topped up just about to the line with water. So that is now diluted appropriately. So now we can go ahead and spray this everywhere. Okay, so this has given us a much nicer mist than before. This is a pretty good spray bottle. So that is both wheels looking super wet and we still have most of our dilution left, which is awesome. So whenever we move over here to the calipers and everything else um, in the arches, we are going to have plenty as opposed to with the iron fallout remover not having really enough, certainly not having enough to do both sides just about got this side done. But this stuff, like I'm still not even halfway down this and I'm almost done with this arch and this caliper, which means that I can dilute the other half of the sample and I can get the other side of the car done, which is awesome. So there, I mean, I've kind of covered the surfaces really, really well, like really big layer. I mean, I don't really know, I can't really put that much, I can't really put much more on there, like, you know, and I've still got some left. So yeah, we still have loads. I'm gonna get some on the front of the wheels. I didn't do the fallout remover on the front of the wheels because, well, they've had fallout remover fairly recently, um, just through regular maintenance washing, um, so they didn't really need it on the front surface. Obviously, the front surface gets a lot more attention than the, than the rear, but yeah, as you've seen, we didn't really have enough of the iron fallout remover anyway, but uh, we've got plenty of this. So we're getting it on. All right, sweet. I mean, I still have some left, um, but I run out of services to spray and I've put a really good layer on all of them. So um, I'm gonna wait a little minute and then I'm going to flip the wheels around and I will rinse them off. Then I'll go over and do the calipers and the arches, rinse them off and then flip the wheels around again and get the fronts rinsed. All right, well that is our decontamination stages done. Looking really quite well. I mean, you can still see that we have a bit of ingrained dirt in here. So um, we are going to obviously need to keep going with our contact cleaning, um, but it's not like, you know, I'm rubbing it and I'm not bringing up a big black layer on my finger anymore, which is cool. And especially the progress that we've made in here, being completely contact-free cleaning, I would say that second product, that citrus pre-wash from Infinity Wax was absolutely excellent. I mean, look at that caliper. I mean, compared to what it was like at the start, I mean, it, it's looking great, which is amazing for not having touched that. And even up around these areas here, um, just seeing a lot more blue and a lot less dirt. Um, the obvious challenge with the rear arch is that it's like this felt line versus the front, which is more of a smooth plastic. Um, but even, yeah, remember how black that was right up there? I mean, that's really cool quite an amazing achievement for not having actually made contact with it. But now onwards we go. All right then, next up is Incinerate Wheel Cleaner, also from Infinity Wax. Now this wheel cleaner, because of its nature, I'm going to do each wheel individually and then rinse off, because um, we don't want to leave this for too long and sit on the surface for 
too long um, it wouldn't be so good. Now because um, we haven't done this for a long time and we had at the start at least quite a lot of grained in dirt um, I am going to use some brushes so I'm going to spray it on and then I'm going to use well this larger brush which is a relatively soft brush it is meant for cars um, don't worry I got it from Halfords it's a fairly soft one this is the one that I'm going to use in the arches and then the smaller one I am going to use on the more intricate areas um, such as the calipers. Getting it all around up high all the spokes all right that looks pretty good okay now I am agitating with my brush just because we have a fair little bit of swing as they say so it's foaming up where we're hitting it which is fine not going too crazy this is a very soft brush we're not leaning too hard we're not trying to like like abraze the surface Really, we're just literally trying to agitate the dirt and let the wheel cleaner really get in there and do its thing. Okay, that is that, and we need to get this rinsed off like immediately. All right, so that is wheel number one done. All right then, exact same process as we did on the wheels, on the calipers, all the way around, all the way up here, all the way, all over. A really good layer, get it touching every surface. So we've got our brush. Like I said before, this is a very, very soft, gentle brush. agitating that dirt and we're not spending too much time we're just literally helping the wheel cleaner do its thing Rear caliper looking very, very nice indeed right now. Hard to tell how nice that this is feeling because it's that felt, which is kind of absorbent. Um, but uh, trust me, it does look a lot better than it did. And everything up here looking better and better as we go on. Well, there we go. That is the front done. And I got to say that caliper, man, that is looking absolutely lovely. Hasn't looked that clean probably since it came off the factory line. Um, but yeah, the arches in here looking pretty darn good as well well um, so yeah we're not too far away from being done with the cleaning stage um, so now I'm just going to give everywhere a really quick going over with some shampoo just in case there's any residues especially from that wheel cleaner left over that I have missed there shouldn't really be but might as well I've got a bit of time just go over with some shampoo and then rinse off and then we can dry and we'll be ready for protection right then our black sheep detailing bubble gum shampoo which I can confirm certainly does smell like bubble gum so get a decent wee bit in there and then I will hit that with the pressure washer and get that foaming up all right good old two bucket method in with our mitt and just giving it a good old clean All right, so then I'll quickly repeat that on the, on the other wheel and then I'll get these rinsed off. Before I do, go and do the calipers and the arches, I'm going to dry these off with this microfiber towel and just so that we don't get any nasty water spots on these whilst we're doing the other work over there. Um, so yeah, I'll just blast through that real quick and then we can move on and do the final bit of cleaning. Well, there we go. That is the wheels lovely and clean and dry. Now I just need to do the shampoo on the arches and the calipers.
All right, awesome. I am loving how clean this is looking. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna try and dry up as much as I can. The front will be easier to dry because it is the smooth type plastic. The rear's not so much, but we'll do what we can and then we'll move on. All right, now I'm going to do the ceramic coating on the calipers. So this is the stuff here. I've given it a shake because it says to give it a shake. And then I've got this little cotton applicator um, that I'm going to put a, a number of drops of this onto. Then we're going to spread it around and then we're going to buff it off with a microfiber that I have over here. Alright, so we're just trying to get really good coverage over all of the surface. Every little contour that we can. Okay, so whenever we have spread it around, we get rid of our cotton thing and we don't really need to wait for any amount of time. We just use our microfiber to very gently, we're not trying to like buff it really, we're just trying to remove any excess. So very gently until it looks dry, which I would say it does. Lovely. So now I'm going to repeat that on the front caliper, then we need to wait for 30 minutes for that to cure. All right, now that that is curing, we can move on to our Simple Wax Armor Synthetic Wax. So I've got a foam applicator, just gonna get that in there, move it around the surface, get a good layer on there, then we leave it to his, just like a normal wax, then we buff it off with a microfiber. Doing a finger swipe, it comes off clean, so we are ready to buff off. And since we did the rears first, we are going to buff off the rears first. So, so it is coming off real easy if I can get a close up. So you can see some here. A few swipes and it's off, lovely. So we just need to keep buffing and get it off the entire wheels. Well, there we have it. That is the wheels done and looking very, very nice. So the last thing to do then is just the tire dressing. So for that, we have the Glosset Tire Trim Dressing from Auto Perfectionist. So we just apply it to a microfiber, spread it around, and then the wheels will be ready to go on. And then once we do that, we will be ready to put the ceramic top coat from Auto Glands onto the calipers, and then we can get the wheels back on and we will be done. So that is that tire done with the tire dressing. You can see it's just, it's actually more satin than it is gloss, if you know what I mean. Uh, but you can sort of see it maybe side by side with this one that hasn't been done yet. So not done, done. Beautiful. So just gonna repeat it on this wheel. There we go. That is both wheels and tires completely finished. So now we can move on to the final step, which is getting our top coat onto our calipers. I'm also gonna give a wee bit of a spray of the top coat onto the arches as well, uh, but it's more about the calipers. Um, so yeah, we just spray this on, we move it around with this microfiber, then we leave it for like 10 minutes, let it cure, and then we get another microfiber and buff it off, and then we are done. So I gotta say the calipers are looking absolutely lovely. Really brings out the blue, really nice and shiny. 
and we know that they're now nice and protected and should be easier to clean in the future of course as well shouldn't pick up dirt quite so easily it shouldn't stick as hard as it would have before really don't get to appreciate these enough especially with my wheels that have lots of spokes it's not as easy to see these lovely big brembo brick calipers very nice all right then now the last thing we just need to get the wheels back onto the car hand tight with the nuts then we let it down and then we torque it up with our torque wrench which for us is 135 newton meters Well, there we go. That is the finished product looking absolutely fantastic, I think. I would say that our test was pretty successful using the Because Race Car Box product in order to do this little test. I think it was very, very good. We still have enough to do the other side, which I now have to go and do. Apart from the iron fallout remover, which we ran out of, so I'm gonna have to use some of my other stuff to do that. But, I mean, that's par for the course. It's a sample box, so it is what it is. But yeah, I mean, all the other stuff, we do have plenty left to do the other side, so it is all good. So I hope you like those results. I know that I do. Hopefully. As well then that shows you the breadth of products that you can get from because race car box whether you get a single box or whether you get a subscription you will have lots of different things that you can piece together to do various different projects for detailing your car so i think that's awesome and if you do decide to go and get a subscription or indeed just a single box make sure you use discount code adam and you will get 10 percent off your first order so i hope you like that i hope you like how we did today and i hope you like this little video thank you so much for watching please do like share and subscribe for more content to come very very soon thank you once again goodbye